What's going on boys? Welcome back to another vlog. Don't mind the hair, we just woke up. Hope you guys are doing well, but a little update for you guys. So in the last video you saw I was doing um, some door-to-door -door sales for my buddy's home service business. Unfortunately, I'm not doing that anymore just because I think it's better if I focus on some things of my own to work on. But yeah, we just woke up. We're gonna hit a workout later with my boy Andy. So I'm gonna take you through my, I guess, morning routine right now and uh, yeah. All right, usually when I wake up, I'll go to the bathroom, take a shit, shave if I need to, weigh myself, all that kind of stuff. And then now we're going to eat breakfast. So I'm going to go make some food and I'll show you boys what we've got on the menu for today. All right, here is breakfast, boys. We got the classic Pellegrino. You know, always got to keep one on me for a nice drink. Got five eggs. It was six, but my mom ate one. And then we've got a pound of berries. If you're wondering why I've got a whole egg here and I didn't crack this one, that's because I'm not eating really any more dairy. I was eating a bunch of that raw cheese uh, Swiss Gruyere. So that's where I was getting my calcium from. But I was eating too much of the cheese. That's a lot of calories. So I, I cut it out, you know, trying to be disciplined now. So i got to get my calcium in somehow. So we're eating the whole egg. There's about... In one eggshell, there's like over a gram or a thousand milligrams of calcium. And it's calcium carbonate, which is the same calcium that your um, your bones and your teeth and your nails are made of. So it's like super bioavailable. All right, we've got the stopwatch here. Let's see how fast I can slam this. You ready? Three, two, one. One fifty-four. Usually I'll eat that in like two bites instead of one and it's a lot quicker, but did it whole cause you know I gotta be a little goofy for the camera. I weighed myself this morning, we're 190 flat. Honestly, pretty good for being 190. Leanest I've been at the heaviest, I'd say. What kinda sucks is I'm I'm a bit of a hairy dude, you could say. So usually once a week I do like whole trimming in my chest and stomach my my pits too you know it's pretty aesthetic but being so hairy i got some some slavic and italian in me so yeah, i usually do that once a week but it's worth it it looks a lot better the shoulder literally just looks like a ball right now just finished up the eggs you already know what supplements we took i showed you guys in the last video I have creatine collagen my heart and soul supplements um magnesium zinc and boron OP stack. We got 280 grams of organic sliced strawberries, which is two servings. And then we've got 150 grams of wild blueberries. So I guess they're organic in a sense because they're wild, so there's nothing sprayed on them. Most people don't know this, but berries are usually the most heavily sprayed um, with pesticides. Which makes sense because berries are kind of the fruit or crop that most animals would go and try to eat, you know? The juice from these blueberries is so like strong and dark. It makes my teeth a little like purple and my tongue all blackish purple. I'm going to turn on my computer here. I'll show you guys my nifty little setup we've got. Honestly, it'd be a pretty sick streamer setup. I'm not eating outside today for two reasons. One, it's a little chillier. It's like 15 degrees Celsius. And two, there's some sort of wasp problem we've got in the backyard. Every time I go out there with any food, there's just like a shit ton of wasps coming out of nowhere. I think it's like somewhere under the deck or something. All right, look at this nifty streamer setup we've got. We've got like this sick laptop stand so it can be open. And I got it plugged in and docked up to this big monitor. I think it's like a 32 inch. Pretty sick keyboard, mouse, mic. We're, we're a streamer, you know? At nighttime it looks pretty sick too. We've got like that little light there. Goes all on the wall, it's pretty sick. 
and the desk is like some, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's from Ikea. And then we got like this shelf thing. So it kind of makes it like a bit of like an L desk too, you know? It's a cold one today, boys. We're gonna have to, uh, we're done eating here. Gonna bundle up, go for a walk, nice long walk, and then stretch when I get back. And then probably shower and do some work before we hit the gym later with Andy. Maybe I'll take you guys through my, uh, my stretching routine too. We'll see. Being cold, there's kind of like a pro and con to like your aesthetics. Your vascularity just like completely goes away because your body's cold. So it doesn't, it brings like the veins in, but at the same time it like stretches, it like shrinks the skin as well. So it becomes like tighter on your muscles. So you're like more striated and you look more shredded. It's it it's good and bad, you know? That's why sometimes when people like their body temperature is really high, they're like super vascular, but then like, you know, they might have like a little gyno or something. You could maybe use the word tits. I don't know. I would just shower it up. As you can see, my hair's wet as shit. About to do some editing, and then we're going to meet Andy at the gym. We got our pre-workout elixir here. It's actually just watermelon juice and salt, but no one needs to know that. Alright guys, we just got to the gym. We're waiting for Andy to pull up. Then we're gonna get mic'd up and get the workout started. All right, guys, we're in the gym now. We got my boy Andy with me. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get. He this hasn't much. flat benched in years. So yeah, gonna, it's been he, years. He might be He might not. We'll see. We'll see, man. I'm curious to see how the strength from dumbbells transitions over to barbell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Like you get strength from yeah. it, obviously. You know, it's just like the pressing motion. Yeah, like bend on the bench and go like this. What is this for, man? It's to help keep like your shoulder blades like down and back as you press it's okay. good i'll show you because otherwise like you kind of slip on the bench a little oh, but this okay. like the rubber against like your shirt or whatever it keeps you in place okay. i, I kind of go like this so it's like where your upper back is keeps like a cross there oh yeah <laughs> lightweight <laughs> oh you're one of those guys they eh? put the plate facing in oh i never pay attention <laughs> Bro, I feel a flat bench in my shoulders so much, man. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe you gotta pull what do you your think chest I'm doing? more? Uh, like arch my back more? I was gonna fix this. <laughs> Yo, this it, guy's it throws OTD. it off a little, you know? Yo, first time ever trying wrist wraps. Guys, first time. And, and he's got the pussy wraps on right now. <laughs> yeah. I can use it. Yo, coconut water is not healthy, huh? It is, bro. Can you bro. tell me a little bit about the health benefits? Huh? Can you tell me a little bit about the health benefits? Of course, bro. Electrolytes? It's peak hydration. Look, yeah. right here? Yeah. For 375 mil, it's a liter bottle, right? Yeah. 750 milligrams of potassium, 50 calcium, and 40 magnesium. So for the whole thing, it's probably, I don't know, maybe like... 100 milligrams of magnesium. There's a lot of electrolytes yeah. in this bitch, no? I add salt to it too. Like oh, salt. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That tastes good though, because <laughs> the whole, I know, I know. whole bottle, it's a liter, like 130 cows. How much, sorry? 130 cows for the whole liter. For the whole thing? It's pretty good. But like a sweet. Does it taste weird? Or? I like it. It's not for everyone, but I enjoy it. No tap water, huh? No tap water here, no <laughs> tap water. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm taking these off, man. These are killing my fucking... They're cutting off the Yo. circulation of your wrists? How's that feeling? I was like... Good? <laughs> Yo, are you laughing? You got something diabolical flying here, bro. I don't got nothing. <laughs> the way you're man. laughing. <laughs> bro, why do you put the plates facing in? Oh, fuck, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you're fucking me up psychologically. <laughs> Bro, there's no freaking scallywags in here, man. Huh? <laughs> there's no scallywags in here today, man. <laughs> hey guys, this is gonna be a PR for Andy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's light. 
That's light, bro. That was light. That's a PR for you, eh? I think so. Yeah? I never train for strength. I don't know, you know? Mm. Yeah, man, y'all, this fucking uh, content game, man. How's it treating you? You've been kind of low. Compared to what hard they nowadays, were. man. Compared to what they were before. I know. So I'm, I'm trying to up the editing and like the, the actual value I give out in the content instead of just like a video of me flexing, you know, actually give out information and tips. I think people like that shit more, you know? Yeah. Well, yo, if you look at Keeps all the- putting the plates inside. Oh, my bad, my bad, my up. bad. I keep getting distracted. By all the scallywags. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? That's funny. <laughs> all right. Yo, you're making that look. You're making that shit look easy. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's feeling a little heavier than last week. I'm not gonna lie. Did you try to go this heavy last week? I did this for four last week. Oh. Yeah. Two ninety-five. Okay. Add uh, ten. Huh? <laughs> Thinking I can bench more than I squat. <laughs> I mean, same with me. Really? But like, it depends what kind of squat. Yeah. Like I, I, I go like all the way down. My PR for like that's what I do squat. too. Like heavy like, knees yeah, over like toes. Yeah, grass. Yeah. My PR is like 325 pause. Okay. I think. That's pretty yeah. good, man. Yeah, some people's forms on squats, man, <laughs> like you see on online and shit, is so questionable. It's like, yo, why did they go heavy? You know, like, the, the, they've got like a two-week span where they just keep on hitting PRs each session because they just keep hitting the depth. Yeah. And they think they're gaining strength. I don't know, man. Easy. Bro, no wonder powerlifters like this shit, man. <laughs> you got three plates, 100%. You think so? Yeah. yeah. The way that moved, for sure. Okay. I might have to pop in the headphones now. Do it. You know, I don't want to use it as a crutch, but I kind of want to get hyped up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you usually listen to? Depends, you know? Actually, you have good taste in music. I see your carousels and shit. You put good My music what? on there. Your carousels and shit? You put good music on carousels? there. Carousels? Carousels? <laughs> Carousels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the instrumental beats on my videos yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, this guy listens to the same music as me. This guy really said Caruso. <laughs> yo, my bad, bro. <laughs> English is my second language. <laughs> hey, you're chilling. Might have to play that Paris song. It gets me going. Which one? The Paris song. Wait, what song is that? Like... Is that a new Doja Cat song? <laughs> no, no, no. It's by, by Kanye and Jay-Z. You know that oh, one. Oh, okay. Like someone's in Paris, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you're one. talking about. <laughs> Let's Yo, go. that was light. That's moving. That was light, bro. We might just have to say fucking and boat truck three wheels on here. Yeah, yeah, we have to at least try it, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, what's the point of coming here? <laughs> You can't be training at 613 and not going for a three-plate PR on the bench. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but at some point we're gonna do reps for we're gonna do some reps here, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, after we both try this, then we'll uh we'll do like two or three sets like I don't know, like somewhere around two plates, two fifty, yeah, something. Yeah, like okay, that. and like wrap it out? Okay, yes. now we're talking. <laughs> Get have a bit of a pump going, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'd probably rest like another minute or so. Yeah, okay, yeah, so you're, you know, for strength, you want to like have big rest periods. So you can That's why, like, you know, some of these powerlifters, they, they got like the lawn. Buddy, I've they got seen the lawn chair, the teeth blanket. In their set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want, I can give you a lift off too, like count down, so it's like time. Count down? Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good you, idea. You kind of like just unrack it and then like, you know, once I see you unrack it, then I help then you. you. But okay. if you say three, two, one, and I help you. It helps a lot, start, yeah. It helps a lot, yeah. Okay. Cause that's like, I don't know, it could be like quarter of a rep you're pushing off by yourself. That's true. Thing, so. And it's not good too. It's like so unhealthy for the joints, yeah, you know? It, if it was just like in line, it'd be fine. Yeah. But cause it's like backwards, it's like almost like a lap pullover. It's, it's kind of awkward. You seen that guy on fucking TikTok that, <laughs> that puts the dumbbell things on the barbell? You haven't seen that shit? It's like a spotter. Oh, like a, like a dumbbell like rack kind of thing yeah. like this? It's yeah, like they, little, have you they seen have that those shit? at the sun, at some oh, gyms. Okay. They have those. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. I mean, you don't really need it's it. If you're like, <laughs> when you're doing like less than 100 pound dumbbells, yeah, you don't yeah, really yeah. need it. But like when you're moving big boy weight, it can definitely help a lot. Yeah, especially because then you can like place your back properly. Yeah, you know that's true. Actually, one thing I find with dumbbells when I, I like kick them back. How's it going, bro? One thing I find with dumbbells when I kick them back, I, like I have to like kind of. Go like yeah, I just feel like they're rear delts yeah. and shit, yeah. Mm. Big three plate PR for Andy right here. 
Let's go, Andy. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Good shit, bro. Shit, that was nice. Bro, that, I felt that in my lower back. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you know some, when you arch too much? Yeah, you, you arch too much and you like drive and it kind of like tweaks a little. Yeah. yeah. That was good, bro. You had good control on it on the way down too. That shit was light, man. That's definitely not your max. You, had, you have like at least another 10 pounds, 15 minimum. We should just like test it one day, like actually yeah, yeah, yeah. see how far we can go. I mean, you can go up if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Yo, uh, my lower back is dead, bro. <laughs> I, I'm gonna hit this and then just cut it there. Yeah, yeah. That seems like a smart get thing the, to do. Get the strength coming back, you know, because yeah. it's been a while. I haven't touched this weight since like almost a year. Really, eh? Yeah. You showed me last time you hit that. Mm -hmm. Or was that like, yeah? Uh... I'll go in like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Finish the coconut water, get those electrolytes for my, <laughs> my uh, heavy single, you know? So yo, you're still cutting, huh? Slowly yeah. cutting, or yeah? I went a little lower. Today was 190. So. Okay. Yeah. Yo, you got a good amount of muscle on you, man. For 190, that's Thank pretty you. heavy. Yeah, I'd say I like leanest and heaviest I've been for sure. Yeah. Like, cause I was back around like June, July. I was hovering around like 183, 184. Yeah. Um, but I kind of binge ate a couple times and you know. That, That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah. And then you like increase the count on some days, it just fucks you so up. So yo, you do you ever like eat pizzas and shit or no? Like... I haven't ate like junk or like processed food since like March or April. Really? Yeah. It's like when I binge eat, it'll just be like a bunch of like food that I already eat, but just like more, more of it, know? huh? Yeah. So you uh, never like, like eat junk I'll be eating a shit ton of bananas and yeah. stuff, you know? So do you ever crave like fucking like... No, like the thing about eating like this is like after you adjust to a while, like your taste buds adjust and like yeah. I don't really crave... You just become used to it, I guess, yeah. Like fruit is, is sweet enough like yeah. to the point where I don't really want candy, yeah. you know? And yo, you don't do any protein powders at all, huh? I have a collagen powder, but like it's just like collagen, collagen powder. It's not protein. There's no like gums or like other like flavoring and different stuff in it, you know? But like no protein powder. No. So you're getting lean fucking meats for all your I've protein. I've been eating ha half dozen eggs a day yeah. and two pounds of uh, ground beef. You don't do egg whites so huh? Why? All the nutrition and vitamins are in the egg yolk. Okay. And the healthy fat. But the protein's in the whites, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess you grab- I do the whole egg. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do like six eggs to get a good amount of protein from... Yeah, that's like, I have extra large eggs, so that I think it's like seven grams per egg. Okay. So seven times six is two grams there. That's not bad. Yeah. Let's get the sandy. Let's get it, bro. Two, one. Chill out. Shit, Not quite as controlled as yours, but we'll take it. That's good, you know? man. 315 is tough, bro. I'll take it. It wasn't even an insane amount of struggle either. Yeah, bro. You could definitely go heavier if you wanted to. I, I Especially because we did a lot of sets well, before. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into it, though, you know? This is my second time benching since like four or five months ago. Oh, so, so you... I've just been doing weighted dips, but I just swapped them out. Yo, we should try that out today, too. I never do dips. Dips? Yeah. yeah. Now I've been uh, using them as just like a finisher, just body weight. Yo, let's do that failure. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might just have to wrap out two plates. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. So you know what was shocking to me, man? Yeah. I never realized I had like supporters until like I posted my birthday post. Yeah. And then people started like putting in me on their story and being like, yo, happy birthday, really? Andy, happy birthday. I was like, yo, what the hell? Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I know. That's, that's when like, cause not everyone like will comment on like any day-to-day -day video you post, you know? So Bro, some people that... comment on every single video. Those are the real ones, man. You know what I mean? You're like, yo. Like me. Yeah. Yeah. Like even some like, uh, some family and friends don't even do that, you know? <laughs> so it's like the fact that some random ass people are mm -hmm. doing that is crazy. Like Pierre Berger, bro. Pierre yo, Berger. Can, yo, Pierre shout Berger. out to you, Pierre, if you watch this, man. He's yo. a real one. He might be watching this. And I've, I've been going back and forth with him in the DMs. He's <laughs> sending me pictures of these six seagulls and stuff. I'll show you after. It's of sick. what? Seagulls. Oh, okay, in, like, okay. in his garden. Yeah, yeah. He's in Southwest England or something. Bro, like he's that. a real one. He supports he like all of us he's too. He's always you know? commenting. Yeah. He keeps asking who's gonna win in a, in a arm wrestle right? between you and me. <laughs> what a legend. He thinks I have it. Really? That's, yeah, that's what he told Yo, me. Yo, we might have to, we might have to run it up one day, man. Yeah. <laughs> for, Just Pierre. for Pierre. Just for Pierre, you know? 
crazy. When I'm like going for a PR, you know, getting up in the heavy weight, like 315, like my heart's racing, you know, I get anxious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this, you got this. There you go. That's probably like 9 or 10. I don't know. How'd that feel? Good? That's good though, yeah. I was, like you could tell there compared to like my heavy single, it's a lot more slow and controlled, you know? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, bro. I like slow. dumbbells way better, man. Yeah? I like I them both. I, I just feel so I, much better. I don't fuck with uh, flat dumbbell though. It's like really? useless. I like incline dumbbell a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like incline barbell or dumbbell. Yeah. Definitely dumbbell. But for flat, I definitely. I might change over to like dips and making dips my main like uh, yeah. lower chest movement. For sure. It's I've been really seeing, good. like all the benefits of that shit on TikTok mm. and stuff recently. And it blows up the triceps too. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's one thing that I've been focusing a lot on this book is growing my arms. Mm. Same with me. Even but though I'm I like cut cutting, but like, yeah. I still gain muscle, you know? Yeah, of course. Because I only have like four and a half years of training. Yeah. And I'm just so anabolic, you know? <laughs> All the food I'm eating, like, it's impossible not to be making muscle. Yo, I think it's actually possible to put on muscle and lose fat at the same time, bro. 100%. I don't know why people are so like, so, like with the fact that you can't. So, like, yeah. I feel like it's very It just possible. depends what, to what degree, you know? Yeah. Because like, you can just fucking eat a shit ton of whatever food you want, yeah. and you'll balloon up. Yeah. And a good amount will be muscle, right? Yeah. But then you also have a shit ton more fat to lose. So when you cut off all that extra fat that you gain, you're gonna lose some muscle too, probably. Bro, plus fat is just stored energy, right? So I yeah. feel like you can use that kind of to put mm. on muscle, no? Yeah. That's why beginners, they can like recomp so easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if they've never do trained you, before. Do you think advanced, like at our level, can we recomp easily or like? Yeah, but like, I'd say it's harder, you know? For sure. You don't, you don't have the newbie gains. Yeah. And like, even before, it's like still harder for you to put on muscle. So it's getting me that much harder to recomp. Yeah. Because you can't do like, if you're just bulking, yeah. you're gain, gonna gain more muscle, obviously, because, yeah. you know, you're feeding the, your body what it needs. Who knows, man? You ever thought about taking gear? <laughs> <laughs> Of course I've thought about it, but I don't want to. Bro, the thing is, when you get more and more involved in this industry, you start to think about it more, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, everybody's on that shit, man. Especially and everyone like, lies about it too, motherfuckers. If you're it's competing, natural. Yeah, if you're competing so and trying to go pro, you probably like, yeah. you don't need to, but like, you're gonna succeed a lot more if you do, probably, yeah. you know? Just cause it's it, also enticing to be able to just like fucking <laughs> eat a shit ton of calories and be fucking yeah, yeah. shredded and put on muscle. Ooh. Yeah. Are you good? You good, bro? Definitely tore that shit. You think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. In your pack? Yeah. Damn. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if you tore it. I think, think so? I did, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. It's looking a little I'm more out. ballooned up, but I don't know. What's it feel like? That definitely felt fucking weird. Damn. Damn, bro. That's a, that's a tough way to go out, man. I know. <laughs> what did it feel like when it happened? Definitely something I've never felt before. Yeah? Yeah. That's weird, though. You, you're literally just, like, controlling it, though. It wasn't that like, was fun. It wasn't any funky reps. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right. See you, bro. Damn guys, Andy like tore his peck or something. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> Everyone pray for Andy. Hope he's okay. He thinks he tore his peck or something? I don't know. We'll see. I think he's gone home. He's gonna maybe get it checked out or something. He uh he hadn't benched in like years, he said. And now I'm working out with him, we're doing push. Tell him we're gonna do some flat bench, and this happens. Uh, I feel bad for him, man. All right, guys, since Andy tore his pec and he dipped, I was alone, figured I would do a voiceover 
of the rest of the workout. So we moved on to incline dumbbell press here. Just warmed up with the 55s, getting the blood flowing to the upper chest. And then we moved on to the 70s for a couple more reps. Then we did our first working set here with the 85s. I believe I got 10 reps or so. And then I did the second set. We got nine. And then the third set, we got eight. And then I did a drop set with the 45s. All right, and after incline dumbbell, I was going to do Smith machine shoulder press, but it was taken, so I decided I'll do some seated military press. I did the first set here with 145 for six or seven reps, I think. Then I dropped the weight to uh, a plate because I wanted to get higher reps, so I uh, did that for another two sets. I think I got like eight or nine reps. All right, and that was it for the compounds. So then moving on to isolation, I started with uh, just some tricep rope extensions. I got this nice attachment at my gym. It's like a kind of a strap thing. So you can actually like put your whole hand through it. I like it a lot more because it's longer than the rope so you can get a better range of motion. And one thing you can see I'm doing here is I'm backed up a couple feet and I'm kind of leaning in towards the cable as I'm doing the exercise because it's going to give a better stretch on the triceps the more you bend the elbow at the top. And after I'm done hitting failure on the tricep extensions, I'm picking up some dumbbells, doing some standing uh, lateral raises here, doing these till failure as well. And then I get a couple uh, partials when I can't get more. Then I'll do like three kind of cheat reps where I swing the weight up and then really focus on controlling the negative as much as I can. And then a couple more partials as well. And then I did just a quick two sets of single arm tricep pushdowns without an attachment or anything, just holding like the ball on the cable, really focusing on the uh, contraction here, doing it single arm because you can actually like bring it back a lot further compared to if you have the rope or whatever kind of blocking it. Okay. And then I'm doing some chest flies uh, as a last exercise because my chest, I would say is much more of a strong point compared to my triceps and my shoulders. I usually do both arms at once like on the double cable stack but the one on the other side was broken so i'm doing this kind of funky single arm variation it wasn't the best i just did two sets and then i said yeah it's good enough quick finisher here just did some body weight dips until failure and then because it's like the assisted dip station i just subtracted like 50 pounds or whatever on the drop set and that was it for the workout overall pretty good session i would say drove home kind of lost my pump but i still did some posing the physique's looking half decent, and like I said, we're weighing in at around 190, so I'll take it. Before, I used to just run push-pull legs, push-pull legs rest, but now I'm doing push-pull legs Arnold split, if you guys don't know what that is. So it's chest and back together, uh, shoulders and arms, and then legs again, and then seventh day is rest. But since switching to that, I would say I've added a good amount of size on my shoulders and arms, like I really brought them up. Who knows, maybe if I ran the... Arnold twice a week so the chest back shoulders arms legs two times maybe my shoulders and arms would blow up even more I don't know who knows maybe I'll try it maybe I won't we'll see all right guys here's what we're eating post workout we've got a pound burger that I just cooked up on the barbecue and then five clementines along with one apple not anything too fancy we're keeping it simple you know you got the protein and the fats from the burger and then some quick carbs from the fruit Nice and clean meal, super easy to make. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put up uh, Andy's Instagram somewhere on the screen. Show him some love. Wish him well because I think he tore his pec. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.